What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV. In this video, we're going to talk about the upcoming biggest upgrade so far that we know about the S24 Plus and the S24 Ultra, especially compared to last generation, the S23 Plus and the S23 Ultra. Now, this is going to be for people that really haven't upgraded in a while or also for people that have upgraded to the S23 phones and they're looking to maybe jump up to the S24s. So without further ado, let's jump into our video. So first of all, looking at the differences here, we're going from a full HD plus resolution display on the 23 plus to a quad HD plus display on the 24 plus. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the S10s already had QHD and then they reverted to full HD. So basically the resolution is going to be better on it. Will you absolutely un unadulterate, is that the word? <laughs> Are you going to notice any difference? Probably not, honestly. Uh, but you know, better is better. Obviously when you, when you're buying a television, you know, we got 1080p and then 4k, you can definitely notice a difference between 1080p and 4k. That's a much bigger jump, but a little incremental jump from 1080p to 2k. Will you notice some differences? Probably will it be anything super major, probably not, but still a nice little upgrade coming to the S24 plus this is a big one. 1750 nits versus 2,500 nits, much better outdoors viewing. Now it's going to be insane how much brighter this is versus the last generation again outdoors is really when you're going to see it when you turn that extra brightness feature on in the settings of your phone it's where you're going to see it so i love this because i always want a brighter display as people get older like myself seeing things in uh, having to need need to see things that are brighter is a major thing and then also again just seeing your phone outside when it's super sunny out and bright this is going to be a major uh, addition to that going from the snapdragon 8 gen 2 to the 8 gen 3 you're going to get definitely better performance is it going to be noticeable on a day-to-day -day offering probably not um are you going to notice it in gaming probably a little bit um don't expect it it's not going to be like a jump from like uh, PlayStation 2 to PlayStation 4, you know, the graphics, it's not going to be like that. It's going to be somewhere like, you know, the beginning of the PlayStation 2. And then when the PlayStation 2, when they finally figured out how to make games for it and the games look better, stuff like that, it, you know, it's going to be better frame rates really is what you're going to end up seeing on it at higher resolutions, but probably again, not huge, huge jumps, but some kind of jump will be noticeable on there, eight to 12 gigs of RAM. Now this is gonna be better for day-to-day -day usage. This is gonna be better for having more apps open at a time. So all of that is gonna be awesome for that. So keep that in mind that if you're looking to get better and better day-to-day uh, -day usage, this should be a little bit more noticeable, especially as the phone ages, the more RAM, the better it's gonna be able to handle more intense applications, just as the, the, the CPU would add. And then bigger battery, 4,700 milliamp versus 4,900 milliamp. That's really nice, you know, and that's gonna be a huge jump in battery life. The bigger jump in battery life will be like, is the 8 Gen 3 better at uh, battery optimization in the software versus the last generation? That's where you're going to see it, but 200 milliamps battery is not a huge difference, but it is some difference. So we should get some better battery life potentially, but also you got to remember that the resolution of the display is now at 2K plus versus 1080p plus that hurts battery life. So it might be fairly even at the same time. And before we jump into the 23 ultra versus the 24 ultra, I do want to mention that the looks of these phones, at least on the 23 side and 24, probably won't change all that much. It should still be the same display size and all of that. Um, so, you know, don't expect huge jumps with most of that stuff. What about the 23 Ultra to the 24 Ultra? Let's talk about this phone. So first of all, um, we're gonna end up getting, again, the big brightness change because all the 24 phones are gonna get this. So, 1750 nits versus 2500 nits. I already explained why that's great. Brighter outdoor viewing, um, better for older people like me who want to see a brighter display. It all makes sense. I love it. Super stoked about it. Next would be that big processor, the HN2 versus the HN3. Better for gaming, better for performance, better for this, better for that. Probably going to be good with battery life too. The Snapdragon keeps improving battery consumption, but giving us more power. So it's been a real big win. But then you also got to know that if you live in a certain country, you might end up getting the Exynos 2400, whereas in the past you got the Snapdragon. So there is some things to know about that and take hold in some things you might not be super happy about because of that Exynos 
2400. It's gonna go from an armor aluminum frame over now to a titanium frame. So this is really nice to see that they're gonna end up doing this. So you'll end up getting a, I don't know if it'll be better built because they're already built really well. It might be scratch, more scratch resistant with the titanium. I don't know, but ultimately a different frame around the phone curved to flat display. This is a big one. It's gonna make some people happy, some people not. I'm extremely happy about this, meaning that the display will be more like an iPhone, where it's a little bit, it feels it's wider, it's flatter, and it'll have more surface area to see things. It's not gonna feel as small, even though the display will still be whatever, 6.8 inches or so, 6.9 inches, but ultimately it'll feel bigger, a bigger display because it's wider and it's flatter. And so it's going from a curved display to a flat display. Again, I'm super stoked about that we're gonna get that new telephoto camera it's going from 10 megapixel 3x to 50 megapixel 3x so there'll be a nice little jump in the telephoto camera department to get you know some nice photos it's also supposedly going from this is um from 108 megapixels to a 200 megapixel main camera so she's get some higher resolution better quality photos from deeper on out base ram which i don't ever get the base but the base ram of this phone is supposed to be going from 8 to 12. that's a nice little thing again better for uh life of the phone is better for having more apps open better day-to-day -day usage all of that just performance in general the last thing is huge going from one terabyte to two terabytes the top version right now at least from what we're hearing is going from one terabyte to two terabytes so you'll get more storage which is crazy crazy so you know when i think about these phones at this moment in time there's a few things in here that would make people want to upgrade now i know some of you are going to end up getting this exynos processor have it be on the 24 plus or the 24 ultra that might scare you from going on it and make you stay with the s23 phones i totally understand it i totally get it but for folks here in america and the other people that are going to get the snapdragon there's some things in here that are nice um and right now you know is it enough to upgrade from year over year over year Probably not, um, but still, you know, if you're on a 21 or a 22 or a 20 or some other phone, the 24 Ultra will be the best phone that Samsung puts out all year round from um, battery life to performance to quality of components inside to build to everything about it. It's gonna be the best phone that they put out. Let me know your thoughts about these in the comments down below. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.